you remember that one year in the playoffs I was missing all those free throws and I would look at you and you'd be cursing me out in the stands? You remember those games? Well, <laughs> you know, I was rooting for you. I wasn't cursing you. I was cursing the refs trying to keep them off you. I uh, you know, I used to be bad. He'd be like, big knees, Shaq. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you, Look, brother. <laughs> man. Hey, you know, in the form, it was, it was a little closer. So, you know, you could definitely hear me in the form, but Look, y'all got it together. By by 2000, y'all start bringing them rings in. I wasn't saying nothing. I was saying, yeah, I would say what you would say. I'm going to make them. He going to make them when he need to make them. Yeah. Don't worry about midseason, you know, when he need to make them. When it's championship time, you know, more than likely, nine times out of ten, Shaq walking away with that ring. So, you know, it was uh, it was great to watch you play all them years, man. I feel I feel honored to see, you know, one of the baddest duos to ever do it uh, live every every night. I, I I have a lot of questions for the big three. I will get back to it. I'm just realizing the Laker connection of you and Flea is also like a huge thing too. But I'm I'm curious, man. Like you mentioned, championships with the Lakers. I'm a Sixers fan. I've never experienced a championship in my life. And I, I, the Lakers, it's all about rings and trophies and banners. And now we're at this interesting time with the Lakers where is LeBron leaving? Is he staying? J.J. Redick. What do you think of your team and all the transitions that are going on right now, the state of the Lakers? I mean, we needed a big man. I mean, a true big man. Um, that's what. You know, everybody call it the Mickey Mouse Championship. But all those teams was going for that Mickey Mouse Championship. They was they was going for that banner. So you can't you can't dismiss it. But at the end of the day, you know, it was Dwight Howard in there. Um, it was JaVale McGee. Um, and, you know, we had a, a, another big guy. But, you know, AD can only do so much asking him to play um center to me is just I think you gotta you gotta free him up a little bit. Um and and so I think that was the missing piece with the Lakers. And it and as you see once we went up against Denver again, that's what was the missing piece once again. So hopefully they learn from that and fill that void. Um but you know what was great about championships it brings your city together um you know what the lakers would do they could do what nobody else could you know uh bring all the different you know factions in la together except the clipper fans you know they on some all other tip but i'm just saying you know most of the people that had sense in los angeles was you know was brought together by the Lakers uh, more than any other team. You know the Dodgers win, you know they win, but but the Lakers win championships, and you know the Lakers have held Los Angeles together for a long, long time. So you know that's the beauty of a championship. You know Philadelphia, you know get get, get one. That's what you'll see in the city. The unity. Q, would you would you like JJ Redick? I, people out there saying he could be like Pat Riley. What do you think about that as the next head coach? I don't know. You know, um, I'm not the one to say. You know, I'm so focused on on the league that we're putting together. I'm not even really, you know, a, a, a expert at this point to be able to say that. Uh, but you know. I, I'll leave it to the people that get paid to do it. You know, they get paid millions to make this decision. And no matter what decision they make, you know, Laker fans, I think, will give it a, a chance to work. And if it don't work, you'll hear from Laker fans. You know, they'll, they'll be the first ones to let you know it's not working. Yes. Ice Cube, we did a segment on the show called The Big Break. So the general wants to know, which team deserves a big break to be NBA champions this year, Boston or Dallas? Mm. Oh, wow. Um, you know, being a Laker is hard to go for the Celtics on anything. 
But, you know, Jalen Brown, you know, is my hero when it comes to um, NBA basketball players. And so I think they've been knocking on the door for a few years. Um, you know, my, my heart would not be broke if they won it. But I love Kyrie, too. So, uh, you know, I, th- I think. I think the Celtics actually needed more than Dallas. Uh, you know, I think if the Celtics don't get it, their fans are going to be pissed. Very upset. I think yeah. I think it's going to be a better series than people think it's going to be. Oh, I think it's going to be phenomenal. I think Boston may have a little difficulty because their road has been easy. I think they may take Dallas a little too lightly, and I think so. I mean, they. you're right. The... the the Pacers were banged up when they faced them. Donovan Mitchell was banged up. So think about it. Uh, Tyrese Halliburton, great guard, hurt. Right. Donovan Mitchell, great guard, hurt. Uh, that first series, bums. I don't remember who they played. But now they're going up against Luka and Kyrie. And I know, I have to imagine the Boston fans, you got like little Larry Bird, this generation's Larry Bird, coming into your, your arena. They're going to be conflicted. Because Luke is going to put on a show. Yes. Boston is going to be conflicted. I ain't worried about that, man. They they probably going to, you know, hate Kyrie coming back in there. And, you know, Boston been, they've been, they've been serving people all year. So I don't know if they're going to take anybody lightly. They, they on a mission, I think, to, they to close it out. 